You'll feel better about smoking with the taste of Kent, Kent. With the Micronite filter. Refine the way harsh flavor. Refine the way hot taste. It makes the taste of a cigarette mild. You'll feel better about smoking with the taste of Kent. And so, from that point on until the end of the Kent Micronite Blue Asbestos Cigarette, Asbestos, let me strike that, ask in a different way. From that point until mid-1956, when Kent stopped production, asbestos remained in Kent cigarettes. Isn't that right? Until the job that you had before you went to Hollingsworth and Burroughs was as an employee of the United States government. Isn't that right? That's correct. And one of your responsibilities for the United States government was supervising the performance of a government contract that was held by Hollingsworth and Burroughs Corporation. Isn't that right? I don't quite understand the question. In Collinsworth and Burroughs Corporation, during the Second World War, according to your direct testimony, provided certain materials to the government. Isn't that right? That is correct. And, and when you left the, United, the employee of the United States government at the out or about the end of the Second World War, you went to work for Hollingsworth and Burroughs. Isn't that right? That's correct. And the Hollingsworth and Burroughs placed you in the position of technical director at that point, isn't that right? Correct. And Hollingsworth and Burroughs maintained... And coincidentally, in 1951, you were first contacted by Dr. Harris Parmley, who was an employee of the P. Lorillard Corporation, isn't that right? Yes. And that was the time in which Dr. Parmley asked you to pr present a demonstration in the boardroom of P. Lorillard Company for certain senior representatives of that company, isn't that right? That is correct. And you performed a test demonstrating how your filter would completely prevent any visible smoke from a cigarette from passing from one glass container to another glass container. Isn't that right? Approximately, yes. And the World Art personnel were impressed by your test. Isn't that right? I believe that was true. And as a result of that, Hollingsworth and Rose was hired to develop a filter for what became the Kent Micronite Filter Cigarette. Isn't that right? Objection. I don't believe they were hired. There was a, there was a uh, business relationship entered into between Lorillard and Hollingsworth and Rose for that purpose. Isn't that right? Correct. And to that end, a subsidiary called Specialties was formed, which actually carried out the manufacture of that filter media. Isn't that right? That is correct. The, the filter of media that was used for gas mask was designed to present to prevent any particulate matter from passing through the filter. Isn't that right? Substantially. As much as you could possibly make it so. Isn't that right? Yes. Whereas the filter that you the, the filter media that you developed and sold to Lorillard was designed with fibers in the filter in a loose, uncompact manner. Isn't that correct? Objection. Did you say in the filter? In the filter media. Objection. It was an uncompacted state. And in your patent, you referred to it as loose. Isn't that right? That may be true. Now, <clears throat> the unique part of this filter media was the blue asbestos. Isn't that right? If you wish to use that term, right. And you selected blue asbestos because the diameter was so small. Isn't that right? Yes. Because the diameter of the, of the asbestos matched approximately the size of the cigarette smoke particulate matter. Isn't that right? The diameter of the particular. And <clears throat> You testified on direct examination that there was a sense of urgency exerted by Lorillard in order to get this product on the market. Isn't that right? Objection. That is correct. Now, in your direct examination, you also used the expression urgency with respect to your gas mask work for the United States government. Isn't that right? Objection. He didn't <coughs> testify in direct with regard to the previous question. He 
you only testified on direct with regard to a sense of urgency for the development of the gas mask filter paper. Doctor, when you were working for the government, you felt a sense of urgency that appropriate gas mask filters would be provided to our men and women in the armed forces. Isn't that right? That is correct. And when you, and that was designed for their own protection, isn't that right? Yes. The sense of urgency that Laurel Art exerted on you in the early 1950s to get the filter media into production was commercial urgency, isn't that right? Objection. That would be right.